Welcome to the TPC Desktop video series. In this video, we're going to look at the CAD view, and in particular, opening an existing uh, CAD file, and just kind of finding out what's in it uh, that we might need for our survey project. So I'm going to open up the CAD view, and I'm going to open up the CAD file that I want. It's just learn 3 adwg In a previous video, we converted this from a DXF to a DWG. And uh, I'm going to get rid of this drawing view for a moment because I just want to focus on what's in here. Now, I can use the wheel, of course, to zoom in, zoom out. I can come up here and tell Traverse PC I want to pan around. And I'm primarily interested in these uh, curb lines right here. Maybe I've got to go stake those out here. And I want to go ahead and uh, tell Traverse PC then that I want to take a look at those. And it's real easy for me then to just pick one of those curb lines like that. You can see the grips that come up on it. And then with the cursor over those grips or really close to it, just tell Traverse PC I want to list those selected entities. And just like the output window in your CAD program, Traverse PC uses the message view to say, hey, we listed an object. It was a lightweight polyline. It's in model space. It's on the curb layer. And here are the primary points in there. So I've got the survey coordinates for that, that uh, curb line. Now, if I wanted to come back and just kind of evaluate uh, what else was on the curb line, I certainly could come back to my CAD view and click on this curb line instead. Let's go ahead and select that one now. And I've got a polyline instead. So, so this one isn't a uh, lightweight polyline. It's just a polyline. They're using two basic kinds for that. Or maybe I missed it. So let's let's zoom in here a little tighter. And I'll bet you I just grabbed the wrong thing here. Let's go ahead and use our select button again. Let's try that one. Okay, I've got two different polylines, each with just slightly different uh, handles. So there are two different entities there. One is on a curb layer. One is on a sidewalk layer. So I, I know right off the bat that I've got features that are, are pretty close, and I probably better pay attention to exactly what's going on. Now, I want to go to the Layers dialog, and I want to tell Traverse PC to uh, select all of these uh, layers and just turn them off. And then I want to find this curb layer, because I want to see what else they put in on this, this curb layer. I'm going to make that my current layer, and I'm going to turn it on. So now we can go back to the drawing, and we can do a zoom extents so I can see the whole thing again. And I can see I've got quite a bit of, of curb information here. And now I've excluded that sidewalk layer that was kind of uh, coming in the way a little bit. And, and I can evaluate this information here with the, the list command. And let's go ahead and just zoom in here a little tighter and say I want to pick up one of these things here and just kind of see what the heck that is. I'm not really sure. I can list that out and say, okay, that's a polyline on the curb layer. Or I can say this. I'd say, this is really what I want. So I'm going to open my drawing view back up. I'm going to come in here and select everything here. So let's select this. There we go. So I've got all of those objects selected. And I want to then um, send those over to the, the drawing view. So I picked 349 selected entities, and I moved them over to the drawing view. So now they are oriented the same way as the, the drawing in the drawing view. They are on this uh, curb layer, same layer they were on in the uh, CAD view. But now I can come in and convert to survey or pull additional information out of these for use in Kogo or in another drawing or in putting a billing together for the work that I did. It's a great way to uh, explore uh, entities first in the drawing, uh, using the layer tools, the pan, the zoom, those sort of things, the list command that you're all familiar with in CAD. And then when I kind of finally isolate what I want, I can simply send that over to Traverse PC and have that be part of the drawing and now part of my survey. I haven't changed those objects in the CAD file, but I have import, imported just those objects over into the survey at this point.